<laughs> oh my gosh, Bobby! It's Christmas! Ho ho, hey everybody, what's up? Ultramag64 here with another fantastic mod review or showcase, whatever you want to call them. I call them showcases, I guess, since I'm not really reviewing anything. But today, since it's Christmas, I thought I'd bring you the Christmas Craft mod. And this mod has a whole boatload of present full boatload of presents full of stuff in it. <laughs> I don't I don't know. But here, hang on. If you can hear That's jingling bells right there. And actually snow just makes that sound now. I, I don't know Well, except that's not a good sound. But I don't know what's I don't know how he did how the person he or she did this, but the snow jingles when it snows. It just does. Also, I might want to add that this mod only lasts until the December, which is strange. I don't know. Um, I, I think it's awesome because that's that's cool because um, this is actually a forest biome, not a taiga biome, uh, meaning that there's no there's no it's not supposed to snow here. But yet snow right in my face. And I was actually the first time this came out. I was like, oh, what the my, I didn't know I was in a taiga biome. This makes no sense. But, um, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. It also, um, for some reason, whenever, it, it, like this beach, for instance, is just rain. I don't know. That could be an error in, error in coding. I'm sorry. But here's my fantastic house all Christmified. All right, so now let's get to the goodies and meat and potatoes of this mod. And um, as you can see, I got tons of chests here with a bunch of stuff here. And uh, it, it may take us a few minutes to get all this stuff down, but um, I know you guys will love this stuff because this stuff is crazy. All right, so first off, what you're going to do is make some gingerbread cookies because when Santa comes in the middle of the night, breaks into our houses and leaves us free stuff, which I still don't understand, but whatever, um, when it, he breaks in and, and needs cookies because, yeah, it's an offering of some sort. I don't I don't know. Maybe, maybe we give him cookies so that way... He doesn't steal our stuff. Cause you know, he, he jumps in through the chimney and he could just, he has free reign of the house, man. He could take everything, but yet he leaves free stuff cause we give him cookies. I don't, I don't know. That's what I think of. But what you do is you take wheat and Christmas spices, which I'll get to Christmas spices in a sec and new mobs. But um, you put Christmas spice in there and you put some wheat and you get gingerbread man. Next up, we're going to make some eggnog, which is my personal holiday drink of choice. And you're going to take more of those Christmas spices and an egg and some milk. And you're going to make yourself some eggnog and get drunk and crunk and whatever you kids call it these days. And then you take your... And if you want some fruitcake, because I know some people are a fan of fruitcake. I've personally never, ever had it before. Can you guys believe that? I've never had fruitcake in my life. I don't know. I'm just never... I'm, my family's never made a fruitcake before. But anyway, you're going to take your milk, another milk, take some more of those Christmas spices. Did the lightning just strike over there? Whatever. I'm getting distracted. You take your melons, which are the only... Oh, well, no, there's apples. I was going to say that melons are the only fruit in Minecraft, but I was like, wait, there's apples. Oh, well. Um, then you take your egg and three pieces of wheat, kind of like a cake recipe, and you get your fruit cake, which I'll show you guys in a sec because I've actually got it displayed in my house right there if you see it. And now if you, um, well, hang on, that's not, that's not correct. I'm, I'm getting all miscombobulated. Okay, so next up is candy cane, another one of my favorite holiday treats. I hope that lightning does not hit my house. Um, you're going to take your rose red dye right here and three pieces of sugar and arrange them like that in a kind of cane sort of uh, thing, uh, arrangement, <laughs> and you get your candy cane, which I think is delicious. And now you just... I think this needs to be added in the regular Minecraft. Honest opinion. I'm just gonna bring that out to you guys right now. I think chocolate milk needs to be in Minecraft because chocolate milk is fantastic. But you take your cocoa beans and your glass of milk and you get chocolate milk. And now you take your chocolate milk here and you cook it up in your furnace right here. And you get... Um, here, hang on. I, f I forgot to make it. Because I'm a dumb. Uh, where are you? Darn it. See, this is why you prepare kids. Alright, you put your you put your charcoal in there and you cook your chocolate milk up all nice and toasty. Yum yum yum. And if you can guess, yes, this is what it's gonna make. It's gonna make something really tasty. Hot chocolate. 
which is fantastic in my honest opinion, because I love hot chocolate on a cold winter night. Mm, fantastic. With lots of marshmallows, caramel, um, a little bit of drizzled hot, or not drizzled hot chocolate, but drizzled like chocolate syrup on it, some caramel, sprinkles. Uh, yeah, I gotta make me some hot chocolate later. Anyway, 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 again off topic on hot chocolate there. Um, so now this is gonna make your lights right here. Your holiday lights, these things right here. You're gonna be at these by making redstone, glass, and these four. One, two, three, five. I'm sorry, can't count. Um, these five specific dyes. Now it only works with these specific dyes for the moment. I don't know if they're gonna change it as of this recording. They, um,. Only have these five dies, and you put your glass in the middle, and you get those lights. And those lights are actually redstone powered. I'll get to those in a second as I get in my house here. Getting ahead of myself. And then for the stocking, what you're gonna do is take string, white wool, and uh, three red wool, right? Red wool, red wool right here, and make an L, and then put a little string right there, and you get your Christmas stocking. Okay, went through that one. Sorry. And now you're gonna make uh, your Christmas tree stand, which I've actually found was a lot harder to get inside. I can't believe my house is too small to fit a tree in. That just doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Um, what you're gonna do is you take your cactus green, your spruce sapling, and your uh, any kind of plank actually works. I've, ch I've tested it, all wooden planks work. It doesn't have to be oak, but I just picked oak. Um, then you take your dirt block and your red wool, and you arrange them in this order right here, and you get your Christmas tree stand, which we're actually going to take, because I'm going to show you what happens when you plant it. Hey, Skeleton, do you want to join in the party? Yeah, look at him. He's so happy. He, wa he wants to see my house. He's so happy. He's so crazy. And now you get to take your wreath, which actually I don't really care much for wreaths, but whatever, it's Christmas. Who cares? So you take any leaf. Again, you can use any leaf. I just chose oak. And uh, your red wool, put it right in the center right there, and you get your wreath. And next up are your ornaments. And your ornaments, these little guys right here. And um, you take your ornaments, same deal as before, glass in the middle, your preferred dye, which has to be these uh, out of these five, and your glowstone dust up top. Next up is the all-important decorative star on top of the tree, which we're also going to take for later. But we're going to take your gold nuggets, take five gold nuggets, and place some glowstone dust in the center. And you get your de de decorative star. Whoa, did I just sprint jump? Holy cow. I never do that. Then you stay. Now, here's, here's the most fun and fantastic, and the reason kids get up in the morning at 5 a.m. Yeah. I've had that happen before. 5 a.m. in the morning to open their presents. Yeah, that's what happens. But you take... Now, um, this is actually a, a neat little thing which I also think should be implemented in Minecraft. Maybe, you know, as a Christmas thing, but I think it should also be as a holiday thing, too. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of sentimental about some things. Um, but anyway, you take your string, four string and four pieces of paper, and you can put actually any item in here. Say I wanted to put a, a, a decorative star or, I don't know, have some presentception going on and just put a Christmas gift. You can put any item in there, and it'll wrap it up all nice and pretty in one of these random things. And then you just break it down by putting it in a crafting table. Alright, so let's head into my special house right here. And here we are! Da -na 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 and actually, this mod actually implements two new songs! Which the song in, a, in the background right now is actually playing... Um, I believe it's this one. So we're gonna pick a different song. That one's actually... There's actually three um, new ones. It's We Wish You a Merry Christmas, Carol to the Bells, and Jingle Bells! So, um, I'm gonna try and get it so that the background music does not play at this moment, so hang on. Is it playing? Shut up, skeleton! There you go. Alright, so that's Carol to the Bells. If you haven't heard it, I prefer the rock version, personally. That's Skeleton. Here's Jingle Bells. Da 
dance with me, Bobby! What? You see somebody outside? Is it the is it is it Chris Kringle? What? It's a creeper! Hang on a minute. Creepers are not allowed in my in my Dubois. Where is this creeper, Bobby? Where'd you see him? I'll hunt him down. Where is he? Where is he? He's supposed to be here. Alright, apparently my, my scripted event did not go as planned. Darn it all. Alright, so if you guys didn't tell, that was actually not... That was my terrible acting. And um, here we have two new mobs that come into play here. And that is the Christmas Creeper. And now this guy will actually appear on peaceful mode. So let's switch over to peaceful. And as you can see, this guy is still here. And um, he's not as bad as you think. He's not as bad as you think. This is the one creeper in the world that I actually like. And that's saying something because I hate all creepers. So let's go ahead. Oh, it stopped snowing. That's no fun. But it'll be good for um, the fact that it's not going to get on our way for sound here. But anyway, we're going to smack this guy. And I'm going to get right in his face. Right in his face. Right in his face. See, he's not exploding. He's actually running away. He does not explode. Cute little guy, isn't he? Got a little Santa hat. Alright, and if you kill him, you get those Christmas spices I was talking about earlier. And that's the only way to get Christmas spices. You have to kill Christmas creepers. And next up is a mob that actually does not spawn on Peaceful. Which can be a good and bad thing. And that's the Ender Elf. <laughs> the Ender Elf is here. Look at him! And see, look, I can look right at his face. <laughs> now, of course, he will kill me. Yeah, see. Ender Elf, I'm sorry! Please don't send me coal! I'm sorry! Here, let's go. Let's, let, let's watch him die. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Ender Elf, you so cray cray. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back inside here. And as you can see, this is all Christmasified. And here is actually the tree. Now, if you take the tree, stand right here, and you're going to need a few tools for this. You're going to need your bone meal right here. And let's just go out here to the beach right here. Place it right here. And put some bone meal up, and boom, you got yourself an instant tree, baby. And you just place your little star on top, and there you go. You got a little tree. And actually, this will actually give me a minute to discuss the ornaments here. So let's go ahead and give me some ornaments. Where are you guys? I think you're in the decorative. Yeah, you are. Okay, so let's give myself every single ornament. And uh, there we go. Now these actually do spread out. And I have I think I've got a good idea on how they do it. I, I don't really know. Because see, look, that one's a little off-center. I can't if you can't tell and uh, let's do it no let's do an orange one and a blue one see look they kind of look a little bit they look like they're ascending or something and let's do another green one and red etc hey there's a bat out there and blue and another green yellow blue red green that sounds like a code for something orange yellow green blue red i don't know but yeah you can just decorate your tree to your heart's content i wish there was tinsel that would be cool but i think that might be a little extreme all right so let's see what the now, actually, the Ender Elf may or may not pick up a present. I don't know. I have never seen this guy pick up a present before and just bring it. I don't, I don't know. Um, but he will. He may leave you a present. Um, I don't know. I've seen some people who said, yeah, they, he leaves you presents. And I've seen some people say no. And actually, I'm going to get to the way you get presents in a sec. Now, uh, this, as you can see, is the lights. Now, hit the switch. There we go. Now they're turning off. They sometimes don't turn off, which I find is weird. There we go, now they're off. And um, as you can see, you can place them like, this is not, there's no redstone here, see? There's no no redstone between 
his lights, and the switch. What happens is I think actually that this acts as redstone wire travels through the walls and just goes all around because there's no way I could keep a charge going with normal redstone this long. And see this doesn't do anything. It actually opens up Bobby's gate. Which doesn't need to be on right now. See? No redstone wire, just... And see, look, right here. No redstone wire either. Okay, so now we're going to sleep. And um, I'm going to show you guys a neat little feature with these stockings here. Now, you don't actually have to have these guys on a chimney per se. I just made it because... And, it, and you see, it's not even a functioning chimney. If St. Nicholas tried to get through this chimney, I think he'd have a problem. Um, so, hang on. Let me just turn my stuff to default. That way I can sleep. And sleep. And... Da -da -da -da, come on, daylight. And if you've been a good little boy, like on Christmas Day, you'll get these. And as you can see, there, there was nothing in these. Nothing in these before. Oh, I'll go present. Bobby, I'll go present. You want present? You want your present too? Here you go. See? Presents. Your presents. For us. Alright, so let me just switch over to survival mode, because I actually want to test this out. If I... Rip this thing open. Nope. That's too bad. Hang on, let me try, let me try something else here. Because I saw somebody, I think it was either Chim and Cupquake or somebody break that thing. I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But holy cow, Santa really loves me. Wow. See, that is cool, because you just, you never know what you're going to get. It's a random item. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe these, okay, this one doesn't want to do anything. Fine, fair enough, game. Okay, let's try this one. This one neither. Huh. I guess the ones I spawned in don't work the same. But anyway, hang on. I actually want to change my game mode. Game mode. See? Game mode has been updated. Alright. And as you can see out here, even, you get presents. And let's actually see what's in these bad boys. I, I hope it's... I hope it's... Bobby, do you think it's going to be diamonds? Ooh, iron sword. Just what I need. And a clock, darn. It wasn't a diamond, Bobby. Sadness. I know. I know. But okay, guys, that's about it for this crazy Christmas mod. This is fantastic. I love mods like this. They do so many different things and just so awesome and fantastic. And I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this mod showcase. And, um,. I hope you have a fantastic holiday, whatever you celebrate. Yeah, let's get the snow going, because you always need snow on Christmas. That's just how the rules are in this world that I live in. Ah, I can see my face. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this mod showcase. I, again, I hope you have a happy holiday season. If Whether you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever other holidays there are out there, I don't know them all. I'm just guessing that there's well, only three, probably more. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll have a fantastic holiday. Spend it with your loved ones, and uh, tell me what you get for your Christmas. I don't know. Leave, in the, leave a comment below what you got for Christmas, because um, I'll probably be doing a vlog about the haul I get. Who knows what I'll get? I don't know. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. This has been Ultramag64. I hope you have a happy Christmas holiday thing. And as always, happy gaming!